The crate is supported by three cables, where the tension in AB is three, and we want to find the way to the crate. The first thing you want to do is draw your free body diagram. We're going to have the three tensions in the ropes pulling up and the weight pulling down. As always, you want to go ahead and label your vectors in your free body diagram. And we also need to say where they're going from and to, or in what direction you need them. So that's from A to D. This is from A to B, and this is from A to C. It doesn't take long to write these down, but it will help you when you're trying to find a position vector, remember which one comes first. The next thing we want to do is to figure out where these points are. So the point A is at 0, negative 1.2, and 0. B is negative 0.72, 0, and negative 0.54. C is at 0, 0, 0.64. D is at 0, 0.80, negative 0.54. Make sure that you can get those yourself, because that's really part of the crux of being able to solve a three-dimensional equilibrium like this. After that, we want to find the position vector. It's 2 minus from. So the C vector is going from A to C. So we're going to take the C component, 0, 0, 0.64, and subtract A. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus, minus 1.2, gives you a plus 1.2J. And then plus 0.64K. Same thing for RB. These are the position vectors along the chords from A to B, from A to C, and from A to D. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you have the position vectors, you can find the position vector magnitude. So the square root of the each of the components squared gives you 1.5 for RC, 1.36 for RB, and 1.54 for RD. Once you have a position vector, you can take the unit vector. That is, divide each of these position vectors by their magnitude. That gives you 0.88235J plus 0.47059K for C. And really, go through these yourself, because if you can get the same answer as I'm getting, that shows that you have a clear understanding of where these numbers are coming from. So these are the position vectors from along each of the chords and the unit vectors along each of the chords. What I need to do once I've got the position vector and the unit vector is multiply each of these unit vectors times their magnitude. Now, you are unclear of what the tension in AC should be, so let's give that a variable name, say C. So our vector C is going to be that unit vector times C. Same thing with D. This is going to be that unit vector times its unknown magnitude. But B, you're actually given information about. The magnitude of AB is 3. So we can go ahead and multiply that out. Now you should keep 5 sig figs as you're actually doing this work. But I just multiplied them by that so that you can sort of see how that goes. Now the weight is also a vector that you're going to need in Cartesian form. It's just in the minus j direction. Now, once you've got your equilibrium, your unit, <laughs> once you have your vectors in Cartesian form, we can write equilibrium equations by taking the sum of the forces in each of the directions and setting it equal to zero. Now, essentially that just means I'm going to add up the i components, add up the j components, and add up the k components. In this case, I only have a d and a b component in the i direction. Both C and W have no I direction. That means that you can solve by this one. By the sum of the forces in the X, we know that D has to be 2.772 kilonewtons. That's the tension in the chord from A to D. If you sum the forces in the X direction, in the Y direction, I've got more variables included. So we'll set that one aside for a minute. And if we take what's happening in the Z direction, now we have, we already know what D is. We have only one equation in one unknown, and you can, by the sum of the forces in the z direction, solve for c equals 4.3605 kilonewtons. Now, go back and substitute into the sum of the forces in the next, the sum of the forces in the y direction, you can solve for the w. 
W in this case is 8.41 kilonewtons. Double check, what are we looking for? We're looking for the weight of the crate. That's what we want to know. Two, three sig figs, that's our answer.